I'm ready for this. Welcome to part two on how to become a DHgate affiliate. My name is Sarah. I'm also a DHgate affiliate. In this particular video, what we're going to do is set up two things. This is all to do with your DHgate affiliate links. So you're gonna need two platforms to make this work seamlessly together. One is called Linktree and the other one is called the Milkshake app. The beautiful thing about these two platforms is that they are absolutely free to use. Yes, there's levels above where you can pay, but for me personally, the least amount of money to get started, the better. So let's go the free route to start. It's extremely important to get this set up correct right from the beginning because it's going to make your life a lot easier in the long run and it also makes the consumer's life a lot easier as well. It's all about navigating and the ease of navigating your products and your site. So without further ado, let's hop over to the computer screen. I'm going to walk you through, first of all, the Milkshake app. You're going to download that to your phone and we're going to set up links with images links being your specific DHgate affiliate link, which you know how to customize. That was in part one of the DHgate affiliate program video. Two is the link tree. So link tree, you're gonna be setting that up just to basically more easily funnel people to where they want to go. It's all about making the journey of the consumer as easy as possible. If this is the first time you're seeing me and landing on this video, make sure you go watch part one because that's just basically is going to introduce you to the DHgate affiliate program. Also make sure that you're clicking that link in my description. It'll take you to the affiliate program and we'll get you signed up and started on your journey and away we go. And before we jump right in, make sure you follow and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more great content coming down the line. A lot more parts to this series on how to become a DHgate affiliate and growing our business together. Let's go. So head over to the App Store and download the Milkshake app to your phone. Whether you have an Android or iPhone, it doesn't matter. The app is available for both types of phones. This app is totally user-friendly and it's gonna be the backbone for your DHgate affiliate links. When you're creating your account, make sure you choose a name that's relevant to who you are and what you're doing. Here's a look at the back end of my DHgate affiliate link website on this particular app. You can see I have all of my links already created with images. You can easily reorder them as well just by dragging them up or down every which way. I just wanted to show you what it looks like after everything is completely set up and organized. Tap on the pencil icon to get into that specific link with image. And you can see here, this is the photo I have attached and my link as well, just above it. After you edit and save something, at any time you can press the preview button to see what customers will see when they land on your page, just to check out your progress as you're building your back end. So as you can see here, I have everything laid out nicely. If I tap on the three dots on the lower right hand, it brings up a menu for me where I can choose from. If I tap on customize, now you're gonna see on the bottom right hand corner, a customize button. So we can tap on that, which will allow us to change fonts and colors of our main front end of what people see when they land on our page. Choosing specific colors, fonts, background color can really lend to a specific type of brand you wanna build for yourself. So when you first create your account, the plus sign on the bottom will bring you to a brand new page or card. So this is what you'll first see when you start to build your site from scratch. I personally like the top picks card just because it allows me to add images as well as the link. And then within that, there is a bunch of different ones to choose from as far as the layout, the look, the aesthetics. I chose the XOX, it's called, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom. And this is the one I chose for my particular site. So now you go in right from scratch, you're building your site. So your main image header, 
you're going to choose from your library a particular image you've already chosen to represent what people will see when they first land on your site. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to choose something from my camera roll. So that's going to be my header image. Now for card heading, you can erase what they have there and replace it with a title that's a little bit more eye-catching or a little bit more focused on what you want it to read. You can also add in a fun little description of what your site is all about. So I'm just saying shopping and showing all my great finds below. Now click on the pencil on the top one of your links here. That's going to be, I'm going to say this one is say like a crossbody bag just for tutorial sake here. Um, I usually leave the description blank so I just X out of that one. Uh, external link, I do not put anything in that particular box. What I do is I only use the link URL because that's the exact link that it's going to send people to. So you're going to grab that from your DHgate affiliate app. So you create that through your link customizer which you already know how to do from part one. And you're going to paste that in the link URL bar here. And you can add in a picture of the bag that you want to send people to so they know what picture to tap on. And then you're going to click done. And then we're going to save that. Preview it so people will see what it looks like. And if you don't like the look of it or anything, you can just go in and edit it as necessary. Now we hit publish and it's going to publish what you have so far. Press done, top of your page, click on the web link to see what the layout looks like when customers are actually going to land on your page. Now you want to tap on your image with the link attached to make sure it actually does go to the product that you have set up. Very important. Now just to look at my site again, this particular card has bags and wallets. So you're going to keep creating cards for the different categories that you want. So bags and wallets will be one card, shoes will be another card, etc, etc. Make sure you follow and subscribe. My next video will show you how to connect your link tree to your Milkshape link. So I've decided to save the step two of creating the link tree for a separate video. That way you can just focus on getting your Milkshake website all set up with your links with the images attached. If you're just landing on this video today, make sure you head back to part one and watch that as well. Make sure to click on that DHgate affiliate link I have in the description. That way we can learn together, build this together, and hopefully make a little bit of money on the side. Stay tuned for my next video, part three, step two, how to make a link tree.